Merhabalar, ben Sercan. Welcome to your Turkish journey. Today, I'm going to talk about the buffer letters once again. This will be the second video about the buffer letters in Turkish. If you have not watched the first part yet, please go and check that video first. The link is in the description. What we already know from the previous video is that when a word that ends in a vowel receives a suffix that begins in a vowel, we need to add a consonant in between to keep the vowels apart. But sometimes we also use buffer letters in between consonants. Technically speaking, these may not be exactly buffer letters, but they are used like them. That's why I'm going to call them buffer letters in this video. You're going to see that in a minute. In my first video about the buffer letters, I have covered the buffer letters Y, N, and S with their most common uses. And today we're going to see another buffer letter Ş and additional uses of the buffer letters in general. So let's begin with Ş. The buffer letter Ş has only one use in Turkish when we form the distributive numbers. We form these by adding er or ar suffix to the number depending on the vowel harmony. Like this. Bir, birer, bir, birer. Or dokuz, dokuzar, dokuz, dokuzar. But when the number ends in a vowel, then we use the buffer letter Ş in between. İki, ikişer, iki, ikişer, altı, altışar, altı, altışar. Çocuklara yirmişer lira verdim. Çocuklara yirmişer lira verdim. Now, let's continue to the next condition. In the first part of the buffer letters, I have mentioned that when a word that ends in a vowel receives the possessive suffix for the third singular person, or while constructing an indefinite noun phrase, the buffer letter S is used in between, such as Araba means car, Araba. When we want to say his or her car, what we say is Arabası, Arabası, or Kedi means cat, kedi. When we want to say his or her cat, we say kedisi, kedisi. However, there is one exception to this rule. The word su, su, su does not receive the buffer letter se. Instead, it receives the buffer letter ye, like this, suyu, suyu. Or meyve suyu, meyve suyu, portakal suyu, elma suyu, musluk suyu. But of course, as we have already seen in the first video, when it receives the accusative case suffix u because of the vowel harmony, it again receives the buffer letter y in between. Suyu bana verir misin? Suyu bana verir misin? And again, if it receives an additional accusative or dative case suffix, the buffer letter ne comes in between. Portakal suyunu ben içtim. Portakal suyunu ben içtim. Elma suyuna şeker katmışlar. Elma suyuna şeker katmışlar. Another condition where we use the buffer letter ye is when we form the negation of the simple present tense for the first plural person. When we form the negation of this tense, we do not use the tense suffix. We simply add the negation suffix depending on the vowel harmony after the verb stem and then we add the person suffix. And the buffer letter ye comes in between the negation suffix and the person suffix. Gitmeyiz. Gitmeyiz. Another example. Yapmayız. Yapmayız. If you would like the examples of the negation for all personal pronouns, please click the link in the description. It will take you 
to the exact point of the related video. Another condition where we use the buffer letter Y is when we form the negation of the future tense. When we form the negation of this tense, there is always the buffer letter Y in between the tense suffix and the negation suffix for all personal pronouns. Gelmeyeceğim, gelmeyeceğim, beklemeyeceğim, beklemeyeceğim, konuşmayacağım, konuşmayacağım. And again, if you would like the examples of the negation for all personal pronouns, please click the link in the description below. It will take you the exact point of the related video. Another condition where we use the buffer letter Y is when the copulative verb is attached to the nominal which ends in a vowel. For example, mutlu is a nominal. It's an adjective. Mutlu. If you have already watched the nominal sentences videos where I have specifically explained and introduced the copulative verb, you will understand this part very easily. If not, I will recommend you to go and check those videos. The links are in the description. Anyways, mutlu means happy. Mutlu. When we want to say I was happy, technically what we used to say is mutlu idim, mutlu idim. But today what we do is we always attach the copulative verb to the nominal and we say mutluidum. Mutluidum. The copulative verb is attached to the nominal as a copula. Therefore, it has to comply with the vowel harmony rules. And E in the copulative verb always drops, which is actually the verb stem of the copulative verb. But as I said, please go and check the related videos for more details about this topic. Anyways, when the copulative verb is attached to a nominal, that ends in a vowel, the buffer letter Y comes in between. Like this, mutluydum, mutluydum, arabadaydım, arabadaydım, evdeydiniz, evdeydiniz. And the same thing happens with the other tenses and moods of the copulative verb as well. Mutluymuş, mutluymuş. Mutluysa, mutluysa, evdeyseniz, evdeyseniz, arkadaş mıydınız, arkadaş mıydınız? And now, here is a condition for the buffer letter ne. When the ablative case suffixes, den, dan, and the locative case suffixes, de, da, come after the third singular or plural possessive suffix, then we need the buffer letter ne in between. Babalarından para istediler. Babalarından para istediler. Cüzdanını eşinin arabasında unutmuş. Cüzdanını eşinin arabasında unutmuş. Portakal suyunda saç var. Portakal suyunda saç var. And today's final condition is again about the buffer letter ne. When the singular demonstrative pronouns receive the case suffixes such as accusative, dative, locative, ablative, or even genitive, then the buffer letter ne comes in between. So let's remember the demonstrative pronouns. Bu, şu, o. Bu, şu, o. So let's see them with the accusative case suffix bunu, şunu, onu. Bunu, şunu, onu. Now with the dative case suffix buna, şuna, ona. Buna, şuna, ona. And now with the locative case suffix bunda, şunda, Onda, bunda, şunda, onda. Now with the ablative case suffix, bundan, şundan, ondan, bundan, şundan, 
ondan. Now with the genitive case suffix. Bunun, şunun, onun. Bunun, şunun, onun. And when we form the plural demonstrative pronouns by adding the plural suffix lar, again, there is the buffer letter ne in between, like this. Bunlar, şunlar, onlar. Bunlar, şunlar, onlar. I know, I know, you might be feeling there are a lot of conditions and a lot of things to learn. And yes, there are. However, as you get familiar with Turkish and the sounds of the words, you will automatically know which buffer letter you need to use and where. It will be very, very natural to you. At the end, all of these rules are only for one reason, to make the pronunciations easier. So please let me know if you have any questions. See you in the next videos. Görüşmek üzere.